Hi guys, my name's Mitz and recently I wrote an article about hiding your file extensions um, or unhiding your file extensions by changing some settings and um, it didn't work for some people so I'm just going to show you a few ways to check on that to see if it's actually changed the settings in the registry and that. Okay, so um, uh, first I'm going to show you how I change the um, file settings, I'll show you. Uh, just say I went to My Documents and I'm, I'm in Windows Vista at the moment so I'm going to press on the ALT key on the keyboard and I'm going to go to the Tools menu and Folder Options and then I'm going to press on the View tab. Okay, if you scroll down a bit it's got here, it's got hide extensions for known file types. Now if you tick that you will not see your file extensions. However if you untick it you will see them. Okay so what I would do is come and untick this and press apply. Now if I go into the documents folder which is here actually, I'll just cancel that. It's right here and I'll just change the view on this so we can see better because we want to see the extensions on them. See how it's got dot .docs, uh, .html, dot .doc, dot .zip. Okay, so there we go. We've got the we've got the extensions showing here. Now some people went and changed the settings and it didn't work. So what? Um, I did is I thought well it's not happening to me on my computer but um, I thought we could go into the registry and check it out so we can go down the bottom here and um, what well what we want to do is um, we want to do reg edit to get into the registry okay so when you type that in this will come up regedit.exe press on it Okay, so the registry will open up. Okay, so now we've got to go to a few places, obviously, because the registry is never easy. Um, so we've got to go to this one here, because it's going to look like this first. Hey, H key current user. Okay, press on that. Then we're going to open up software, which is down here. Wait a minute, I'll go back. See? So there's not much of a list there, that's good. See the software part? Press on the um, you know, the thing next to it. Right, so go down to Microsoft. Okay, Microsoft and press on the little arrow. Then we're going to go to Windows. So right down to W, Windows. We're going to go to Current Version. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Explorer. I don't have to go too far. Should be here. Okay, there, right there. Press on that and now Advanced. So just press on the folder there. See how there's no arrow or anything? Right, just press on the folder. So what happens is um, we've got all these registry entries here and we need to look for Hide File Extension okay it's very obvious so click on it now we can see already that the value is zero which is correct so let's double click now if you're if you haven't got zero here now I've got zero that means that the box is unticked okay um, and it is going to show file extensions it's not going to hide them okay so what you want to do is change it to zero and then press OK. Now when you're changing something in the registry you need to um, log out and log back in for, you know, for the changes to take effect. Okay, So I'm just going to close it because I didn't change anything. Okay, So that's just one way so you can check and see whether it actually has changed the registry. Another way that I like to do is um, I actually make little registry files so just say I went and got a notepad I'll just go and get one I've got it on the 
just get a notepad. And I've pasted this in here, which is the um, path that I just showed you. And also, here's the um, entry that I showed you hide file extensions and the D word equals zero. Okay, so then I'm going to go save as and I'm going to say all files because I don't want it as a text document and this is what I've named it here hide file extension dot reg. Okay, save and I've already saved it obviously but I'm just going to say yes okay so this is a registry um, file and when you double click on it it will start um, it will add this entry to the registry okay so we go to my documents and I've got a lot of junk in here at the moment which isn't really good so there it is there now you can tell that it's a registry file because that is the icon for it okay now if I double click on that right now it will add it to the registry for me so um, all it's going to do is change the value to zero for me but I've already done it obviously um, so this is what happens after you press it there we go press OK and that would have added it to the thing now um, there it is there I'll have that script in there for you so um, you can just copy it um, with the article alright um, they're the only things that I can think of at the moment there's probably some more things but they're a little bit more difficult